Okay, look, let's talk basketball. Let's talk the Miami Heat. Okay, I'm from Pasadena, California. I've always been a Miami Heat fan, always. I was born in 1980, so the Heat came out around 88, 89. Um, so look, let's skip and let's just take it there. It's hot. I'm in Texas. It's hot. Houston, Texas at that, where it could be 90 degrees and still rain. <sighs> okay, let's get to it. So, I just want to start off. I just want to start off by saying, how good would Tyler Hero be next to a LeBron James? <sighs> now, I like Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler's good. I love if we keep him. Um, I just don't know how all of this is going to work. Same way I feel about Caleb Martin and High, uh, Haywood Highsmith. Um, I think Highsmith can handle Caleb Martin's role. Um, I've seen Highsmith get the green light. I've seen him get the green light and do his thing. He's a little stiff, but he has defense and he play, plays with a high IQ. So I like Highsmith. Um, I like uh, Jacquez. Um, we need somebody next to Bam. Uh, Rozier is good to go. I don't know why all these talk, you know, all this talk about point guard trades and all of that. I get it. He may play like a, a shooting guard, but that's just because he's talented. Don't take away, you know, his stature as far as being, you know, all around player and say, oh, he's not a real point guard. He plays more like a shooting guard. That may be, but he can play point guard, which means he can make plays. He can pass the ball. Um, yeah, he doesn't have to pass the ball. He can green light it and just go. So I like uh, Rozier. Um, you know, Tyler Hero, you know, he would be different next to a LeBron James that commands double teams, triple teams, pass out. You know, even more better than uh, Duncan Robinson. Um so I kind of like um, the situation that we have. This would be fun if we we're playing NBA 2K. Oh, trust me, I would know what to do. But even if I messed up, I would do it so many times that, you know, I would get it right eventually. Have that super team, right? But definitely it all depends on who we draft tonight and um, all of those things. But I will say... You know, when you talk about Mitchell and trading, you know, for these stars, man, how much are you willing to give up? I'm not willing to give up Tyler Hero, a first pick and another pick from another year and then give up uh, somebody else. Like the only person that, you know, I'm willing to give up who would be maybe Duncan Robinson because he has a big contract. I would give up Duncan Robinson. I would let Caleb Martin go because Caleb Martin, one of them players, you, you know, he's good. And he gets injured. A lot of people get injured. But you're either going to play Caleb Martin full time and get the best from him, meaning IQ, all his skills and all of that decision making. Or if not, then I don't know about paying him 12, 13 million to just do what he's been doing. I, I don't know, like, I, I'm not gonna do that. And I'm not really big on these short power forwards, six, eight, six, seven, six, six, just cause they got long measurables and all of that. I've never been, you know, I've never been one of them short power forward guys, like uh, fans, like, like I never, uh, I remember the year they started doing that, but um, it's more like, you know, give me, somebody that actually has height at power forward and that would you know or 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 give me a real center and let bam go nuts i think we've been getting our rebounded for so long playing small ball i get it Spocia doesn't really like the um um what's his name uh what was the big guy's name uh that we had uh hassan camp uh, hassan hassan I forget. I think it's Campbell. I'm not sure, but Hassan Whiteside, Whiteside. I remember we had him, and uh, I know we have. T I, I like T. T. Bryant. 
he move around real good. Uh, he was energetic, but we didn't play him. And, you know, Kevin Love is the opposite. He plays with a high IQ, and he can shoot. But he doesn't have that much energy, but he knows how to rebound. So if we can keep him, I'm keeping him too. Uh, that That's good off the bench. So I like all of that, but we can't do everything. It has to be, you know, we have to go a certain way. It looks like we're going to keep Jimmy Butler. So now if we're going to keep Jimmy Butler, then it still looks like Hero will be traded. Because Hero doesn't have to be traded now. It's the draft. He can be traded a little later or however that goes. But it's just to the point, like, if you're going to play with them, like, whoever you get, we need to get now so that they can all mesh together. And instead of waiting, you know, 70% into the season and trying to figure it out, you know, even though Spocia teaches defense and we got the good D and all of that, it's like, it takes too long to mesh together. Meanwhile, Boston, all them teams is already ready to kick ass. They already ready to go. So I just feel like we need to to make a move. We need to do something that is going to benefit Jimmy Butler because we keep complaining he only plays 60-something games. And, you know, he don't play 82 games. He don't blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, Jimmy Butler will be ready to go. Even if it's hurt in the playoffs, he probably wouldn't get hurt if he didn't have to work as hard, you know, or keep playing these big positions. And so, you know, I like Orlando Robinson. You know, I just feel like certain, if you're going to keep certain rookies or uh, two-way guys or something like that, you know, anything like that, you got you to gotta give them a chance to go and play with the right starting cast and see what they got and either – they stay or they go. And all these, you know, I, I get it. We got to fill up the roster, just like football. You got to fill up the roster. It's a lot of those kind of picks that will never touch the field. And they're good in practice. But, you know, it's more so we need to get rocking because these other teams are making trades and they're not playing. So, in a sense, when do we start? getting back to the, you know, not playoffs, but Eastern Conference championships. You know what I'm saying? And and just rock it. So this is what I'm saying. I will give up Caleb Martin. Like I said, let him walk. If he, you know, he's probably going to get a better offer. And then I would, you know, it looks like we're keeping Jimmy Butler. If Tyler Hero goes... See, this is the problem. We don't have a shooting guard if he goes. So who's coming if he goes? Who, who's coming? Like I said, I would like to get back to if Tyler Hero had LeBron James. But that's just a fantasy because, you know, that means Jimmy will have to go. LeBron still needs some help. I'm tired of seeing LeBron without no help. So, you know, it's one of them things. Could you get LeBron with the Lakers take Tyler Hero? And, you know, shit, I don't care. Anything but Bam, Jacquez might have to go. I would love to keep him, but he can go. Him and Tyler Hero can go, and Duncan Robinson can go for LeBron James. You know, but you want to take our pick as well? Nah, you can't do that. See, it starts to be too much. And that's why Pat Riley don't be budging. And, folks, don't get it twisted. The NBA is still mad at the Miami Heat because they claim we started the big three thing, you know, the whole diva shit, just like when, you know, a lot of NFL players start thinking they were Terrell Owens and start demanding a crazy amount of money and start, oh, I can't play this. Oh, uh, even Jimmy Graham, not just picking on him, but, hey, I'm a tight end slash wide receiver. I'm unlike anybody. It's like Dennis Allen said for the Saints the other day. Taysom Hill was good. He was an all-around player, but hey, Cedric Wilson does things like, you know. So it's one of them things. But can you imagine how LeBron James will use Tyler Hero? Oh, the kickout will be stupid. And not the only does Hero spot shoot. He's a game player, you know. He, <laughs> he work hard. I don't care if he don't got crazy good D. He work hard and he will try to play D. 
you know, we don't have people that can get back to the rim fast enough. You, you put it playing Duncan Robinson at power forward, hey, uh, High Smith sometime at power forward, undersized, and not playing Brian, not playing Orlando Robinson. Um, you know, I, I knew it. Oh, it hurts when you're a fan, a real fan, and you just know it ain't going to happen. But you still have this much to get in. It's like, oh, you know, that was, oh, that hurt. That that was like dying by water being dripped on your forehead. Torture status in Vietnam. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but we'll have to think this one out. We'll have to see who we're going to draft, who the Heat will draft with the number 15 pick. And um, see if we trade down, get somebody else. I'm scared to get one of them 6'6 guards or something. And they don't work out. Can't shoot NBA level. I'm, boy, I'm nervous. But I would rather get a, a, mobile, a mobile big man. I don't know if they're talking about Silva or something like that in the draft. But I would rather get somebody that can move with Bam. But like I said, I'm not crazy big. If you're not a real power forward or a real center, all that hybrid stuff, it's like, mmm. We've been there and done that. We're not doing that no more. Like, it's time. It's time. I'm talking about MB. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about Miles Turner. I'm talking about it's time to get one of them. You know, I know things cost. I know we're above the cap. All of that. There ain't no taxes. People want to come. But, you know, you got to make it right. You got to make it work. You got to do the right things. Got to put them together. And, um, you know, even surprise the NBA. I... LeBron, LeBron said he wanted to uh, go with his son. I know a way to get LeBron James. Draft his son. His son is not going to go top 20, more than likely. We got the 15 pick. You draft Bronny, LeBron comes. And you say, no, we don't want to give up Jimmy Butler. They ain't going to play with a bad LeBron. They'll have to take Duncan Robinson. They'll have to take... Tyler Hero, that's, that's good. And you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, whatever else we need to throw in. Not no Rosier, though. I don't get him, you know. But you can take everybody else or whatever. So it's one of them things, though. But uh, a lot of people are, you know, hard on the heat. But, you know, we give claps and kudos to our rivals and, you know, the East and the West, you know, this ain't easy. You guys that play 2K, you guys know how it is to build teams, keep teams, and keep it going, not just for that year, but for the later years down the road. So let's see what the Heat does, and I'll try to get back to you guys. Karan, oh, yeah, Karan Best Music. I got music out, YouTube. Go follow me, whatever. I do it all for fun. Love you guys, Miami Heat. Let's get it.